Now to our ongoing series, Running Dry, a look at Arizona's water crisis. The city of Phoenix is looking at implementing new water rules, and as Team 12's William Pitts reports, one of the first actions the city is considering is targeting pools. So far, water conservation in the city of Phoenix has been all about education, not actual regulations. But that's about to change. The time is now to really address these issues. And here's how they want to address them. First, pool restrictions, kind of. The city says it's looking at everything, not pool restrictions so much as they don't want anybody to make a gigantic pool that takes up too much water. The plan is to ask city staff to go figure something out, probably around making sure some people don't build maybe something like this in their backyard. It is something that, you know, staff is making sure we are taking a look at, but we're not really sure where that policy is going to end up yet at this point. The city's also thinking about having new homes have two water meters, one for the inside and one for the outside, so you know how much water your yard is using. About two-thirds of all water usage in a single-family home is outside water usage. That's true. You never really see most of the water you use. City officials figure it would be easier for you to figure out if your yard is costing you too much if you know how much it's using. Two water meters would let you do that. And third, the city wants to talk to big water users, big businesses like TSMC, the microchip plant being built in North Phoenix. The city wants to see if those big water users can find ways to use less. The city says TSMC is building a water recycler for that reason. Another thing the city of Phoenix is proposing, they don't want the city to get any bigger, so they're not going to annex any more land while we're still in a drought. Which is likely to last a very long time. So if they stop the city from getting bigger, they won't have to stretch the water. We can make sure that we are preserving, you know, the, the water resources we have for existing residents. City officials say it really won't affect the economic growth because there's still a lot of undeveloped land inside the city limits. All those plans are set to be presented to the city next week. William Pitts, 12 News.